Patrol plastered on the side of a truck now has a ticket from the DeSoto County deputies. In a Facebook post, DeSoto County put the Chevy Silverado's red and blue lights on blast, claiming that this truck has been impersonating law enforcement. But when you jump into the comments, you see people saying this is a show truck and no one is being pulled over. When you look closely, you find the owner of the truck and sure enough, his Facebook is flooded with pictures and videos like this showing off the booty patrol truck, lights flashing and all, and claiming that he has never had the lights on while driving. Well, today deputies say that they found that truck and the driver and they gave him a ticket. The booty patrol has sparked a debate about what's legal and what's not when it comes to customizing your cars. Wink News reporter Michael Hudak joins us now live. So Michael, what is the issue with the booty patrol vehicle? So Michael, what is the issue with the booty patrol vehicle? Russ, the answer is in the booty meaning inside of the booty truck. You see, there are no legal ramifications for those kinds of decals that you're about to see in this video. The real violation are the lights that he used to impersonate a law enforcement officer. Florida Statute 316.2397 says a person may not have a red, red and white, or blue light visible from directly in front of their vehicle, thus marking the last time that the booty could, patrol could be so cheeky. Wink News shows you this truck on Monday night decked out from front to booty with booty control sitting on the ass fault except this was no officer of the law he was trying to be an officer of your derriere and that's not even the butt of the joke the DeSoto County Sheriff's Office first posted on social media asking for the public's help in identifying who the booty man was they're like he ain't with us but he's pretending to be us and he's not allowed to patrol the booty then in the comment section of that post the booty man commented admitting that he was the booty troll so Let's put this all together here. The decals on the side of the car are not a problem at all. It's the lights that he had on top of the vehicle that were impersonating an officer of the law when in reality he was not an officer of anything, not even the booty. Reporting in Lee County, Michael Hudak, Wink News.